defense. They returned nine of 11 starters. Um, there's a lot of guys that were successful here. And I know you wrote an article. They brought back some guys that they weren't the headliners, but I think they were pretty important to their success. Take us through that article. Yeah, I think there were a handful of guys on this defense that you look at and they weren't starters, but it was really important that Cleveland brings them back. So the first three that come to my mind are you have a guy like Rodney McLeod, who's a veteran safety. He's going to be coming back and he is a key guy in terms of understanding Jim Schwartz's scheme. He's a Jim Schwartz guy to his core. He spent five seasons in this system in Philadelphia when Jim was the D.C. there. And I think he established himself very quickly as an important leader in their locker room. And then in the front of the defense, the Browns brought back Shelby Harris. They brought back Mo Hurst. Those are two guys who different spots in their career. Shelby is, of course, a, very much a veteran at this point. I think he's entering year 10 here. And he's a rotational player at this point, but he played that part really well. By the end of the season, he actually was starting for them. I think he started the last five games, including the wild card game in Houston. So I thought that was really key to get him to come back, especially with them losing Jordan Elliott. And Mo as well, he's a guy who came to Cleveland. People only, I think, really knew him because of all the injuries he had suffered at that point in his NFL career. And he hadn't really played the two years prior, but he came in, he performed in that rotational role in this defense. He got a sack, he got an interception. He made some really nice plays before a peck injury cost him the rest of the year. And I just think it was really important to get those guys. They're good locker room guys, good culture guys, and you can get them for cheap. 